What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome to your 50th and your final Java beginner programming tutorial. So I'm pretty pumped right now. Right after this, we're going to be getting into our advanced series in Java. Then after that, we're going to be getting into our game development series, which I'm sure you guys are looking forward to. And so yeah, enough of me rambling. Let's get into this tutorial and get going to our advanced series after this. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use command line arguments. Now, a lot of you guys probably already use the command line and everything. And you'll know that if you use a command like copy or something, you use a command line argument beside that little, I don't know what you would call it, command or whatever. And basically, it would add some additional information for the program to use. In Java, we're allowed to use this by using the string args parameter. So this parameter is in every main method in Java. So that means that any program in Java can take command line arguments as long as it can use it. <clears throat> so basically, we're just going to be making a program that you could run. And when you run your program in command line, you're allowed to put additional arguments, such as your name or something. It's basically just going to print it out on the screen. So first off, we're going to be making an enhanced for loop. <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice here. Um, so if you guys don't remember, an enhanced for loop, all you have to do is use for, put down your brackets, and since this is a string data type, we're just going to use that. I'm going to copy that because I'm really lazy. And so this is just going to be our temporary variable. We'll call it s. <clears throat> and then we're just going to put down our regular old colon. And then since we're going to be using this um, args array, I'm going to copy that too. We're just going to put that right beside the colon. Basically what this does is that it's going to store every value into this temporary variable and print it out onto the screen. So to print it out on the screen, just go s out and then stick the s in there. And basically, if this, if the user passes in any command line arguments, it's going to end up being printed out into our command line or our command prompt. Sorry. So I'm going to save this and to make it so it actually works in the command line, we have to hit this little button up here. It's a little hammer and a broom, I guess. It says clean and build main project. Just hit that button. And down at the bottom left corner, it should say finish building um, your project. So next thing you're going to want to do is where did my output dialog go? Hmm. One sec. Let me just run that so I can get it. There it is. All right. So if I build that again, basically, if you go down to your output dialog, you'll see it says this to run this application from command line put in this little string of text here this is basically referencing your actual program in java it's called a jar file basically java just packages um, all its source files into an executable basically it's an executable called a jar file so that's all you guys need to know just copy that string of text right there and then you guys have to go to command line so to do that hit your little windows button and you guys can't see this right now um, I'm sure you guys can find it. Just go down to the search bar and type in CMD and it should pop up. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take that copied text, paste it in there. And if you actually hit enter, you'll see it ran, but it didn't really do anything. So in order to make it print something out and use those command line arguments, just put a space and then let's say, let's put our name or something. And then as you can see, it prints out my name, Anthony. So you can put as many command line arguments as you want. So I can put Anthony, what is up? That makes no sense, but whatever. Um, so to it prints out, Anthony, what is up? So that's how you use command line arguments. And so basically all I did was I made an enhanced for loop to store um, the inputted command line arguments into a temporary variable called s. And I printed out all the command line arguments onto our command prompt. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the description below. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in our next tutorial series, which is our advanced series. So peace.